Today on Forbes, this AI founder became a billionaire by building ChatGPT for doctors. For doctors trying to stay abreast of the latest medical breakthroughs, reviewing the latest research is like being shot in the face with a water cannon. A new paper is published every 30 seconds. Trying to comb through it all to come up with a diagnosis or treatment plan that reflects the best current options while seeing 20 patients a day is a near impossible task. Daniel Nadler, co-founder and CEO of Open Evidence, told Forbes, quote, We talk about the golden age of biotechnology, where there are new drugs and better drugs developed all the time, but it's like the dark ages for physicians because of burnout. There is this enormous firehose of information they need to stay on top of, and the human brain is limited in its capacity to read millions of studies. So Nadler, a 42-year-old Harvard PhD, who sold his previous company for $550 million back in 2018, set out to solve the problem with artificial intelligence. Now, the startup's proprietary algorithms search millions of peer-reviewed publications, including in top journals like the New England Journal of Medicine and the Journal of the American Medical Association, to help doctors find the best answers fast, with full citations to papers so doctors can read more for themselves. The software is free for verified doctors to use and makes money through advertising, much like Google does. Kleiner Perkins billionaire chairman John Doerr, who invested in the company personally, as well as through his firm, said, quote, I think open evidence looks like it's going to be for healthcare what Google was for the internet. He added, quote, It's the free for physician model that's the magic here. Since its founding in 2022, Miami based open evidence has signed up 40% of doctors in the United States, or more than 430,000 and is adding new ones at a current rate of 65000 per month. Its revenue from advertising is now coming in at an annualized rate estimated at $50 million. That's not huge, but thanks to the software's rapid adoption, investors are betting big. Open Evidence has raised $210 million, led by GV, Google's venture arm, and Kleiner Perkins, at a valuation of $3.5 billion, up from $1 billion at its last financing in February. Nadler told Forbes. Other storied VC firms like Co2, Conviction, and Thrive Capital also invested. The new investment makes Nadler, who owns roughly 60% of the company, a billionaire, with a net worth that Forbes estimates at $2.3 billion. Co-founder Zach Ziegler, the company's 30-year-old chief technology officer, owns some 10% of the business, worth about $350 million. Nadler was able to hold on to such a large stake by being its first seed investor, putting in some $10 million of his own money before raising any VC funding. Nadler said, quote, One of the great things about being a second-time entrepreneur is, I'm not an idiot. I think the second thing is going to be bigger than the first, so maybe the first $10 million should come from me. That's by far the smartest financial decision I made in my life. I wanted to bet on myself. The problem open evidence is addressing is enormous, and one that's only getting bigger. Medical literature is proliferating at a meteoric rate, doubling in size every five years, as new treatment options like gene therapies are developed, and scientists learn more about how different diseases and drugs may interact with each other. Open evidence isn't the first company to try to make sense of the overload of medical publications. Walters Kluwer's Up to Date has been around for decades and has recently been incorporating AI along with advice from experts, to do the same thing. But it is the first to build software that integrates AI from the start to make it easier for doctors to find answers to pressing clinical questions, and to do so far more accurately than ChatGPT. Doctors now use open evidence on some 8.5 million consultations a month. Because the tool isn't considered diagnostic, it doesn't need FDA approval, as algorithms used to detect strokes or sepsis in patients do. And since doctors can download it or use it online for free, it can bypass the lengthy and bureaucratic procurement process with hospitals or large group practices. That's helped the company sign up doctors at an even faster clip. For full coverage, check out Amy Feldman and Rashi Srivastava's piece on Forbes.com. This is Kieran Meadows from Forbes. Thanks for tuning in.